everyone. I'm from your telephone company. And the message that we have for you is that we are changing your telephone service over to Dial. There's been a lot of planning, preparation, and work in order to bring Dial to town. You may have noticed that lots of work has been going on. New cable pulled into place and other types of construction. If the dial isn't already on your telephone, it soon will be. Many months ago, our engineers started to draw up the plans because equipment must be tailor-made to fit the needs of each community, not only for today's requirements, but for years to come. To design, build, and install this equipment takes time and money. This is an investment in the future of your community. It won't be long now until dial telephones are ready to serve you. So that there will be no interruption in your telephone service during the changeover, everything is made ready. When the signal is given, the fuses are pulled out of the lines that were part of your manual equipment. At the same instant, we close the connections in the dial equipment and dial service is born. Instead of hearing the operator's familiar number, please, you'll hear the dial tone. That means that the equipment is ready to handle your call. Dial service, however, doesn't do away with the need for operators. You'll always find operators ready to help whenever you need them, for an emergency, information, for out-of-town calls, or for any call in which you experience difficulty. You will find that dial telephones are very easy to use. And I'd like to give you some pointers so that you can make the best use of your dial telephone. Now, let's examine the dial itself for just a moment. For convenience in dialing, the letters go around the dial in alphabetical order and the numbers are in numerical order, from one to nine and O. Oh. And in the center of the dial appears the number of the telephone you are using. With dial service, telephone numbers consist of a central office name and five numbers, like this, main two, nine, nine, seven, O. Oh. We use central office names and the additional numbers so that as many telephone numbers as possible will be available for each community. Also, this numbering system makes it possible to fit you and your neighbor's telephones into a uniform nationwide plan. This enables operators and telephone users to dial long distance calls to distant cities. Now, there are a few easy rules to be followed when dialing because careless dialing mistakes will waste a lot of your time and cause someone else to be inconvenienced and probably irritated. When you want to make a call, always be sure you have the right number. Consult your directory for any number you're not sure of. Write the number down. Like this. It will save you a lot of time and trouble if you keep the numbers in front of you while dialing. Now, let's use this demonstration model for a moment while we dial our number. Take up your receiver and always listen for the dial tone. Remember how it sounds, a steady hum. Now, let's dial the number we looked up and made a note of. Remember. Always be sure to dial the first two letters of the central office name, then the five numbers. For example, for word 49970, dial W O 4 9 9 Seven. Oh. When dialing, notice that I brought my finger around until it firmly touched the finger stop. And now I remove my finger. 
and let the dial go back by itself. Failure to bring your finger firmly to the finger stop with each pull of the dial may cause you to reach a wrong number. The same can happen if you force the dial back instead of letting it go back by itself. For incorrect dialing causes inconvenience and delay, not only to you, but to anyone you may have dialed in error. Another important point to remember when dialing is that wherever you have the letter O or the numeral O, as in our example number worth 49970, you will find the letter O next to N on the left side of the dial. The numeral O is always in the same space with the word operator. As soon after you dial the number you want, you will hear this tone. That's the ringing signal, an interrupted burring sound. Now, it tells you that the telephone at the number you dialed is ringing. The ring will continue until the telephone is answered, or if there is no answer, until you hang up. So let the telephone ring for at least a minute, or about ten rings, to give the person you're calling time to answer. Now, if the number dialed is busy, you will hear a signal like this. The busy signal, a buzz buzz sound. When you hear this signal, hang up. Try again a little later. Now, those of you with a party line may lift your telephone to listen for the dial tone and hear conversation or a ringing signal. This means that another party on your line is using the telephone. When this occurs, hang up. And wait a reasonable length of time before you try again. Now, to make certain that you are completely familiar with the use of the dial, let's review the few easy rules. Make sure that you have the right number. If not, consult your directory. Write the number down. Make a note of the numbers you frequently call. You can get a free personal numbers booklet for this purpose from your telephone company business office. Now, before dialing, listen for dial tone. If you dial before you hear dial tone, you may get a wrong number or no number at all. Refer to the complete number while dialing. Then, dial the first two letters of the central office name. W, O, and the five numerals which make up the complete number. Four, nine, nine, seven, O. Making sure your finger firmly touches the finger stop with each pull of the dial. This will save you time and inconvenience. And when you have completed dialing, listen for the ringing signal. Wait for the party to answer for about one minute or ten rings. If you wish at any time to review dial procedure, you will find instructions in the front of your directory. If you will remember these easy rules, you will dial correctly and be pleased with the use and convenience of your dial telephone.